Referee blows the whistle, and here we go. Thanks for tuning in, folks. You are here watching Us TV Emacs on 11 Sports. It's LA Force versus Chattanooga FC. Good movement so far. We see the ball skipping, and it's a little bit fast on the turf, but there we go. Good movement so far. Nice cross into the box. Headed away by Chattanooga FC. Nice bounce, and both teams trying to find control. They do. Nice, nice through ball. Can something can be, something be made of it? Yes, absolutely. A little bit of movement. Backing track over. Yes. And here we go. Chattanooga with full control. There's the cross. Looking for a head. Nice dive by Chattanooga, but easily handled by LA Force. Jackson's going to be a bit of a threat on that right-hand side of the pitch, but that's to be expected. Throw in for Chattanooga right now. You can hear the coaches sort of barking their orders from even where I'm sitting right now. It's going to be a long throw, you can tell. Chattanooga, not necessarily jostling for position, but they know, there's that long throw. Nice head, bounces awkwardly, boots away. And we'll see if they can control the ball over here. They can, nice little kick into the area, but easily, easily controlled by Brandon Gomez, who's not... Well, I thought he was maybe take a little extra time, but no. Gets it to his defender. Nice movement. Acres of space. You can see that uh, Chattanooga FC is not going to just exert any energy trying to get that ball. They'll wait till LA Force comes to them. That's fine. Good movement back and forth, switching side to side for LA Force. No one's really trying to close him down from Chattanooga FC, which is surprising for me. Now, LA Force in the middle of the park right now. Back again. Padilla was trying to get a little bit of movement. Didn't feel like starting the attack. Instead, chose to send it back. Now there's that long ball into space. Really not a good decision, but, you know, it's early days yet. You've got to knock on the door a few times before something happens. Nelson looking over the ball, trying to find someone to go ahead and get this ball to. Um, there's that long boot we're looking for. It goes past the halfway mark. We're gonna trying to get some sort of a attack going. Nice long boot into the area, but again, playing that 70 star in the air. And that's actually very smart. Here we go. Quick counter for the LA Force. Sees a man to his left. There's a player to his right. There's two of them. He chooses to go to, to the right. And again, nice little ball into the area. Handled very well by Chattanooga FC. And for their efforts, the LA Force do get a throw in. Nice long throw in. A little bit of a miscommunication there. It goes back straight to a white shirt. Back to the right-hand side of the pitch. Into the box. Surely a shot? No. Quick give and go. And... Very well done by Chattanooga to get the ball. LA Force asking for some sort of a, a whistle. Here's the, the movement that I like. Look, quick pass, give and go. Gets it back again for his efforts. Padilla's on the ground. And, and now, but the ball is now back on the other side of the pitch. If you've, I'm pretty sure we're going to be calling Padilla's name throughout the match. Again, hitting the fourth minute of this particular match. Sorry, the fifth minute. Going by very quickly. Nice throw in. Oh, a little bit of fireworks on the right-hand side. Oh, nice slide tackle on the turf. He's going to have to put some, uh, some lotion on that later. It's going to sting a bit. Nice. And here we go. Good movement. A long, long, skied pass. And no one quite there yet. Had to weigh that ball a little bit better for the next one. Russell with the ball right now. Just absolutely bypasses the midfield. Instead, easily handled by LA Force. Now it's back in the midfield. Now it's back in the area where it could be. And here's that little bit of penetration we're looking for. A little clash of bodies. Nothing really too 
dark about it. And there's two players trying to get past each other, so to speak, and one player trying to get the ball. Um, referee sees it. Of course, it's a foul. That's a pretty dangerous area. LA Force can do a lot with this. They have to go ahead and get that wall tight. Listen to the goalkeeper. And Chattanooga's just trying to think about what they can do. A little bit of talking with the referee, saying, just, I think, just wait till my whistle. He counts off 10 steps. Kasich over the ball. Could be Tate. Make a long boot into it. Suddenly, there it is. Oh, hits the wall, and the wall does its job. Goalkeeper just boots it out for some sort of a, a respite right now. Handed back to Nelson. Nelson's going to take his time. Gets back to his, his center back. Russell with the ball. Nice. Just a, just a floating ball inside the, the final third, but not quite hitting the mark right now. And LA Force have that control. As soon as I say it, they lose control, and it's Chattanooga FC with the ball. Good movement on the right-hand side of the pitch where we're at. Given away. Good passing, and for, for a little bit of sort of pinballing effect, it's a throw-in for LA Force. Barrera wants the ball, definitely. You can hear the coach screaming time, and it goes straight back to Nelson. Nelson to Kasak. Kasak's got the ball right now. Gets it back to Russell. Russell goes to his right. Has bags of space to his right. And there's a little bit of space to move forward. And there's that sort of through ball we're looking for. Unfortunately, it skips on the turf. And it's a good throw in for LA Force. Just a lot of time on... A lot of space for these players, and as soon as they get the ball, they, things like that happen where they run into a, a shirt of the opposite color. I'm going to try to stop saying nice, you know, when it comes to those through balls because there's just so many of them right now. They're getting there, just, but the final third is a bit, you know, just not quite happening in the final third when that happens. So let's see. Good movement by LA Force. Goes to the right hand side. There's a little bit of space and a player on the right. And an inherent pass that doesn't quite get there. A little slide tackle again. I've got to give these players props. They're slide tackling on this turf. It just I'm kind of cringing when I see it. I'm feeling the burn on my legs when, I, when that happens. Good movement so far. Look at that. Well done. Certainly a cross. A little bit of space there. Just mistimes that pass. The cross comes in again. And it's just behind any player in white shirt. Barrera save it. Yes, he does. There's that cross we're looking for. And easily handled. But, oh, look at that. A little miscommunication by the defenders and the goalkeeper. And there was an L.A. Force poacher right there trying to make something happen. Didn't quite happen. And here's that counter that Chattanooga's famous for. Just out of play. Let me see the replay over here. That good save doesn't, you know, here we go. There's that cross. And rather than, well, a little bit of miscommunication by the, by the player and the, and the goalkeeper. But here we go. On the other side of the pitch right now, Chattanooga's in control. It's one-on-one. -on -one, just miskicked. Trying to do a nutmeg. Didn't quite work. It's a foul. And we're in the 10th minute, folks, and it's been sort of end-to-end -end stuff. All that's really missing is a final sort of punch in the, in the final third. So we'll see. Plenty of time to go. To go. There's that switching of sides that we're used to right now. A little bit of space. Chooses to go to his right. There he does. And ju defender just stopped defending for a split second. And you saw LA Force 
Just go, what? And then try to get that cross in, and then the defender came back and said, oh, no, I got it. Nelson's going to take his time. He wants that. He wants his team to just get back as far as possible. You know, this playing from the back is not working, you know, for most teams. You know, it doesn't, to me, that's one of my opinions. Like, I just don't like teams that play from the back myself because that's where you can lose it. So just start the play as far up as possible. And Nelson's doing that, telling his teammates to start. And, but look, you lost it in the midfield rather than losing it in your final third. So, okay. And here we go. Chattanooga with control right now. Looking for someone to get it to. Instead, chooses to go back to the center back. Center back looks to his left, looks to his right, chooses to go to his left. Kasich with the ball. Nice. Uh, said it again. Good floating cross into the area, but not quite controlled. For whatever it's worth, LA Force gets a throw in it on their half of the pitch. It's going to be a long one. We know that. Oh, short one. <laughs> well, everyone in the worldwide spider web can email us like, Simon got it wrong. Well, it won't be the first time. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, folks. You're watching the LA Force versus Chattanooga FC here in beautiful Santa Ana, California. And, well, if you're watching on 11 Sports, welcome. Next time you're in town, show up to one of these matches. The only thing that's missing really is you. It's a beautiful night here. If it's 100 degrees, it's probably 80. I don't know. Not really into the weather, but perfect night for football. Let's go back to the action right now. A little bit of movement in the midfield. There we go. A lot of space now. Good movement. That's very good. Got to just turn around a little bit quicker. Sees a man to his right. Gets it. Chattanooga FC 2 on 1. It's a good cross. Easily handled and very well handled by Brandon Gomez. He's just going to take his time. Nagel start playing high up the field right now, but not necessarily pressuring, just making himself known, which, again, is, we've seen that in the first 13 minutes. So, look, not really that much pressure. So, the, And as soon as the ball gets anywhere near the, the midfield, you see that little bit of pressure from Chattanooga. Okay, so we figured out what they're going to do defensively. How is LA Force going to try and penetrate the midfield, get into the box. Right now, they're just moving the ball in, the, in their own half. Fantastic. There's that movement we're looking for. Very well controlled. Very intelligent play. Look at that. Excellent. Okay, now here's... Switching of the sides. Okay, fantastic. Now what? There's that cross we're looking for. Does it get to anyone? Chattanooga would be very happy to see it roll out, out of touch, but LA Force have other things on their mind. Just kicks it back into the defender and gets himself a corner. Well done. Very intelligent. Brandon doing a great job on that right side of the pitch right now. I mean, very good. Just slowly walking into that box. Oh, he, it's only, you can almost see in his eyes that he wants, that, he wants that, that corner kick to come to him. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> fabulous, fabulous corner kick. Floats in. No one really challenging for the ball. And then look, nice vertical leap. LA Force a few inches from getting their first goal. And they get a second bite of the cherry right now. Another corner kick. Is that? I can't see it from here, but is that Ivanovsky with the... There? Very well done. Look at that curl on that. Nelson had... Well. Let's see it again. Look at that curve on that thing was... 
Wow. Nelson was a, a bit slow to get to that, but spared a few blushes and went over the bar again. We're in the 16th minute of the first half. Just want to remind everyone, TV Max family here in beautiful Santa Ana, California. Simon Allen, the Dalai Lama of soccer, at your service, your humble servant. And we're watching the LA Force versus Chattanooga FC. If you're watching on the World Wide Spider Web, you're probably watching, I'm pretty sure you're watching on, on 11 sports. I want to thank everyone involved. Long cross into pretty much nobody. And this is the kind of ten tennis that was It's going to buy you some time. Nelson gets the ball to, to the right of the pitch. And LA Force very happy just to switch, switch the ball from side to side. They're not getting really as much pressure on high up the pitch as they're... They usually do. And they're quite happy and quite content to pass the ball around. And there's a through ball we're looking for over here. But again, an er inherent bounce. Or an errant bounce. We'll just email me the right word for that one, folks. Twitter or tweet us or... So about 18th minute. Right now, I would, I, if, you know, if per chance I wasn't working solo, I'd turn to my friend, Alex and Knife Nevea, and say, Alex, what do you think so far? And then maybe he would say, well, Simon, you know, these two teams are feeling each other out a little bit right now. They're not really pressuring. They're not really doing much other than trying to get that through ball into their own space or into the opposition space and do something. And I would say you're absolutely right. If only Alex Nevea, Alex the Knife Nevea was here. Wait. What do you know? What? I am here. I was here the whole time. <laughs> what are you up to, Alex? Hey, just uh, it's a pleasure to be out here and taking in the forest right now, playing Chattanooga FC, and uh, couldn't miss out on a West West Coast versus East Coast match, can we? No, we, we cannot, and it really, you know, the – the TV Emacs family is finally complete with Alex the Knife Nevea <laughs> over here right now next to me in the booth. And you can see just what a spark Alex brings to the broadcast when he just walks into the area. <laughs> well done, Alex. Well done. As you can probably tell, um, we weren't trying to hoodwink the audience. You weren't here for the first 18 minutes because of, quite honestly, let's be honest, the crazy California sort of... Uh, Highway system, right? So, Absolutely. so glad you're here. That's, uh, that's the best way to describe it, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alex Nevea, um, my mum's second favorite uh, soccer commentator. <laughs> hey, you know what? I'll, I'll take, take second. <laughs> even, I, I'm just a pleasure to be yeah. one of the top three, yeah. you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not even a top one, so it's okay. What? <laughs> so oh, it's okay. wow. So it's an, it's an absolute kidding. pleasure. Yeah. So, Alex, you've, you've, you were down there watching the match, you know, it's a beautiful night for it, isn't it? I mean, what do you, what are we? Right now, we're in the twentieth minute, and there's there's really not much. I mean, I haven't seen that much pressure on both on any of these teams. They're they're, they're not necessarily. Look, I mean, the, the the amount of pressure up up high isn't happening. There's just these long crosses avoiding the, the midfield. What 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 do you see that? Well, now that I say that, a little bit of movement over here. Well done by Chattanooga. Just sort of read that one, and that's the first. Well, I shouldn't say that's the first. That's a bit of a you know, a bit of dangerous play and you know, some, a dangerous moment for, for, for the L.A. force. Uh, Chattanooga quite easily, I think, handled it. What, what do you see down there? You know, are, the fa are the fans okay over there? Are the players doing okay? What's going on? Well, there's a pretty good fan base going on right now here in uh, Valley High School. Can't complain. Uh, the energy still, I need more. There needs to and be here something. it is. Here's that movement. Ah, oh, 
Sorry to cut you off, Alex, but that was a sweet cross into the box. Just didn't keep his head down and went, flew over the bar. Not to say the goalkeeper didn't have his eye on the ball. He did. He, he saw it go by. But that's the first bit of trouble, I think, that the LA Force have given Chattanooga FC. So, uh, man's down. We'll just say that he was inches away from at least hitting the crossbar right there. So, first of all, how about let's talk about Diego Barrera, who set it up initially, made a man miss to his right hand side, said Ole, juked over to his left, comes in with the Alex, cross. When and did you become a lip reader? He actually said Ole? He said Ole <laughs> to, to get his marker to miss, comes right. in. Moves to his left, comes in with the cross, and tries to finish it up. Wow, man. Just could not get pull the trigger on that one. In my previous life, I must have been a Toreador or something because I <laughs> actually he said Ole as well. I think that's pretty cool. You're, now, are you telling me you were a Matador before? No, a Toreador. Is there, I think, is there a difference? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I thought, I thought <laughs> the term was Matador. Was it? Okay. <laughs> Again, people from this worldwide spider web have to email us and tell us what we're doing wrong over here. That was exactly When it comes to my saying. Spanish. <laughs> Email us, guys. Do something. Or even tweet us out, you know. What do we got? What, what's our tweet? What's your tweet? Dalai Lama soccer for you. Yeah. For myself, it's Alex J. Naveka. There you Easy go. Easy as that, folks. Easy right now, the, the game has uh, stopped. There's a bit of an injury, I, I believe. Um, it's a good chance for the team now. To get maybe a water break or something. You know, Alex, it's been an interesting 22 minutes. And for my liking, I know people sometimes they'll email me and they'll tell me, like, you know, you... We want to hear your opinion, and then the other side of the coin is they don't really want to. They just want me to do play-by-play. -play. But, you know, I want to see more attacking. I want to see, can I say, more bone-crunching tackles. I don't want to see too many of these, the, sw the balls being switched from left to right, up and down. I want to see some runs over here. Now, it might be not indicative, indicative of, of the style of play, but certainly if for 22, 23 minutes nothing's really been penetrated, nothing's really been, you know, the shots on goal haven't really been as high as we want, then that might be a, a change that we'll see, you know, f in, the, in the second 45. But now that you know, there's a little bit of uh, t uh, downtime and the, the manager talking, I'm kind of wondering what they're saying. You know, and I'm sitting here just as an observer, um, your humble servant. But again, we, we, we're going to get back to action. Let's see if those bone crunching tackles happen. Let's see if there's more sort of, uh, you know, there's going to be some sort of a um, more pressure, not not as much passing of the ball, let's say. So here we go, back to action. You know what I have to say? I want to see some more aggression coming from LA Force. I think this is a match they have to win. Otherwise, you lose this one. You're going to have a big deficit between you and Detroit City. 100%. Detroit City. They won earlier today. They, yeah. they have six points on the Force, who are in that second seed in yeah. the table right now. So I want, I need to see the Force win it, but. As well, I want to speak for Chattanooga FC as well. They had a very strong start to yeah. the year, and I want to see them try to move up in the rankings as well and see if they can keep up with Detroit and, City. And LA Force, this is a winnable game. This is not an unobtainable three points over here, so absolutely. So you're at home. You know, Chattanooga doesn't want to go home, you know, back to Tennessee, you know, with a loss. But this is not, you know, an uphill, a, a huge mountain to climb for LA Force. Amazing players on both sides of the pitch, obviously. But... You know, storied players, respected players, hard, you know, hard fighting players. So, yeah, so when I see that first 24, 25 minutes, I'm like, wait, let's get some, you know, and I'm, 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 and I'm also a sort of a, a person that likes tackles, you know, clean tackles. I like, you know, good sort of fights in the midfield. I just haven't seen that yet. But again, early days, plenty of time. And here's what's going around. Look, listen, the speed's actually gone up a little bit. Nice movement to the right hand side of the pitch. Plenty of space. Surely that cross is going to happen. Get the goal in there. Yes! Fantastic header. What were we talking about? Great cross. And that's, we were talking about Barrera, right? And there it is. Great movement. Little speed. Little bit of space to your right-hand side. And look, not it. There it is. I was about to say the defender didn't quite get there in time, but there's that floating cross that we're looking for. And 1-0. You must be uh, some sort of a lucky charm, Alex. <laughs> well, I'll tell you one thing. I think the force might need me for all of their matches. I might be going to the East Coast matches with them, but just <laughs> brilliant once again. But it up. Uh, 
in the previous play was trying to set up the cross. Right. Well done, well placed. Yeah. Just couldn't get it in the back of the net. Now they switch the roles. Yeah. They come in with the cross, set it up for about it, and he's the one that said, all right, you guys can't make the last one. I'm going to go to do it myself. Now we're up 1-0, 26 minutes into this match. Alex, I'm wondering what the gaffer said when there was that water break going on. I'm wondering what he, what he said because that was a bit of a, a, a change. Look, and watch, and watch, just looks up for a split second, sees the player, and look at that. Look at that. Credit's got to go to Manuel Padilla on that cross. Uh, just brilliant. Just yeah. placed it Pinpoint. well. Yeah. Placed it well. And again, now, not necessarily an uphill battle for Chattanooga, because they've been down before, right? But you've just, look, the speed. It's been ratcheted up a bit on both these teams. Now, look, there was... Not necessarily the cleanest tackle, but there was an attempt for a tackle in the midfield. We haven't seen that. Brilliant. Fantastic. Uh, that water break was much needed. So back to action. Hey, we, maybe we'll get another water break, and it'll <laughs> end up being maybe 1-1 one, one or 2-0. Oh. <laughs> maybe. You've got to stay tuned if you're out there in the worldwide spiderweb watching on 11 Sports. Here we go. A little bit of penetration in the box. It's one on three. Try to get a, a, a sort of a grass cutting cross in there, didn't quite happen. And for their efforts, the LA Force do get a well, a, 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 well, a good, a good corner kick. And here we go, Ivanovski with the corner. He's been taking most of them, if not all of them, if I can remember correctly. You can, you can oh, quick short one, surely a, a cross in there. There it is. It's floating in. It's looking for anyone just overcooked. And you know what? Go with it. If it worked the first time, do it again. Just stay persistent, keep attacking, and put the pressure on the goalkeeper ultimately for Chattanooga. And, I mean, you'd love to have a 2-0 lead if you're the force. Stay confident. I mean, look at the last two matches they played. They already have that one to nothing lead against Chattanooga back in August 28th. Yep, yep. Now Diego Barrera came in with the PK in the 48th minute yep. of the match. So the Forest are already coming into this match with confidence. Yeah. And Chattanooga, they've got a chip on the shoulder right now. They're looking, hey, let's even up the score 1-1 against this West Coast opponent. But the Forest, they're coming in red hot because they just came off of a win last week against 1904, 2-1. Yeah. to one. But reversely, Chattanooga came out from a loss against Detroit, arguably the best team in the league. And it was, a, and it was because of a, a, a red card. They were playing about 10, well, they were playing one man down. Um, from about the 65th minute on. So they can play, you know, one man down. But, again, they want to reverse that streak. They want to make sure that, you know, we, we want to get out of California with something. Game's not over. Believe me. By far, it's not over. But right now, it looks like LA Force have that sort of... Oh, my goodness, there's a shot. Um, they have that drive now. It's their 1-0 up. They've got a bit of a cushion. They want to go ahead and score another one. And... Sort of put that that knell in the coffin, so to speak. The the tides really have changed in favor yeah. of the force right now. They yeah. are maintaining possession of the ball, and if you look at possession percentage, yeah. it's going up for them very well. They're controlling the ball very well. Look at that. that one a little bit, uh, yeah, a little bit off maybe there. broadcasters jinx right there, there. But but no, I mean, you, it's, it's right after that, it's just amazing how the passes are a lot quicker for LA Force. The movement is a lot faster. That's what should have been done in the first 23 minutes. It could have been 2-0 two, two already. But, again, there's, there's got to be a method to every coach's madness, and we're seeing it right now. It's just great coaching uh, by LA Force, and there's that long throw in. Surely he's going to get to head it, but very nicely done, very well done. Good defending by LA Force. Back into the mix. Bicycle kick, and there's a the shot. There it goes. Bicycle kick doesn't happen. Gets straight to a Chattanooga FC, to Hofstadter. He scores the goal, and it's all square at 1-1. We're talking about the momentum that LA Force have, and look at what Chattanooga FC does. Gets the ball back into the mix. There's an attempt at a bicycle. Lands perfectly for Hofstadter, and just no one's there to, to, to close him down. He gets that goal. 1-1. And we've got a game on our hands, folks. 
30 minutes into <laughs> this one, and just like that, we've got some great firepower going into this one. But just the cross, once again, perfectly placed. That bicycle kick, that would have been a beautiful one. That would have been a highlight. Wouldn't it expect been? that one on ESPN. Yeah. Top 10 plays easily. But Sean Hofstadter coming in with that one, just easily just, just tapping it in and just and, and coming oh, in. It's, it's, it's perfect bounce for the guy. Just gets it. Look, The player looks at it, Hofstadter listens and goes, okay, and just a volley off the bounce goes, and you know nothing really that uh, you know that, uh, that Gomez could have done. He, he might have had his sight blocked by a defender. I'm not sure. We'll have to maybe go back and see that in a replay because that is a highlight reel in itself. You know, um, back to action though. Ivanovsky with a quick pass to his left, getting the ball rolling it into the area. Acres of space really for on his right hand side, but instead chooses to go forward. Now Chattanooga have control. They lob it all the way forward. Look at that. Very nicely done. But look at the speed just of how everything's happening. Just amazing. It's night and day difference between the first 20 minutes and now, and that's what we want to see. Nice movement here. And I keep saying nice because it really is. People should just email me some more like adjectives. <laughs> Other words for nice, right? Yeah, I mean, it's just, it really is. you know. And there's that cross into some space. Headed away by LA Force. Very nicely done as defensively. All right, I'm going to say sweetly done. <laughs> nicely, brilliant. We'll have, to, we'll have to think of a list. I mean, you know, I'll, just, I'll get a list going and just go down the list at this point because it's been good football for 32 minutes. And goodness, look at that. Bit of space over there. Loses his mark. Can he take the shot? Of course, passes to, into the middle of the space. LA Force just doesn't see it quickly enough to do anything with it and it's now back in the midfield but they have control great stuff so far hung on to the ball too much should have pulled the trigger right well, there he I, had I, space it was two on one bit, a bit unselfish I, I agree with you Alex. a bit unselfish but again you know one nil up he wants to tee it up for his for his teammate teeing up is one of the baseball term yeah hey <laughs> sounds good to me is it all right just you know just you know go quick throw in i understood it <laughs> I mean, there's no room to breathe as a commentator when we're watching this particular match because it's just action, and it's just the, 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 the speed of it is just you're looking at three different things. You're looking at the players around it, who's to the left, who's to the right, and you're seeing that how it's been ratcheted up. I'm kind of wondering right now how long the speed is going to last, if there's going to be a sort of a, a backtrack of, uh, you know, when it comes to, like, well, well, we'll slow it down a bit and just try to remain calm for 10 more minutes, but it just looks like everyone's on full blast. It's picked up definitely quite the few. And first it was a force that was in charge, and now they're coming up with a good attack here. But it's the defenders that are reading yeah. it really well. And Chattanooga, they answered very quickly. Sometimes we've seen during Nisa action, we hit, we've seen teams fall 1-0, and they are never able to come back. But yeah. Chattanooga, within five minutes or so, they were able to come Fantastic. back into the match. Fantastic stuff. I hope everyone's having a, a great time watching on 11 Sports and your TV Emax families. Here to broadcasting the event. My name is Simon Allen, the Dalai Lama of Soccer. And next to me, Alex the Knife Naveja. We're here in beautiful Santa Ana, California, by the way. Just having a great time. LA Force versus Chattanooga FC. Just having a good time right now. I'm just going to watch the game. <laughs> At this point, yeah, just let's, the, the, let's the game could tell itself. Yeah, it really is. There's, the storytelling on this particular, on this match is just, is just so quick. It's like it's almost like a, an action movie with just just lasers and oh wait, lasers, the force. Oh, the force is strong. Oh this my goodness, team. we have you to remember? throw one of those. We have to throw one of you those remember? in there. <laughs> People, you know. people think that we're, we're stuck. We're, we're, we're sitting here in Valley Stadium trying to think of like Star Wars quotes, but we're not. We're, we're really <laughs> we're watching the match, really, honestly. Yep. is absolutely pressuring as quickly as they can. They they need to. Now they've got, you know, they've smelled a little bit of blood, right? They're going, well, listen, it's 1-1. It's, it's, 
you know, everything's even now, right? Anyone can win this, and, okay? You can cue the Jaws music right there. You said they can smell the blood, can, so... Can, maybe, yeah. Yeah, like, I want to go ahead and just try to think of a... some sort of a movie reference, but I cannot. Someone out there, go ahead and... and go ahead and... tweet us. All right. Folks, believe me, we're still here. And here we go. Passes back. I will not supposed to back to the goalkeeper. He, got, he has to boot it out. That little moment right there was brought to you by space. <laughs> no lasers. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It happens, folks. Enjoy the ride. And there's that through ball we're looking for. Surely take the shot. Oh, very, very well handled. Enough pressure. Yeah. To I mean, be able to get him. Kazakh just enough. was going shoulder to shoulder, right? Look. Extends his arm out a little bit just to push the LA Force a little bit away. And so there's that little misstep. That's all it took for, for nothing to happen. So you got to look at the sort of the intricacies of what was going. Well done. And we're back to Ivan Opsi. Essentially just another corner kick. Is it going to be floated in? Is it going to have a little curve on it? Watch out, folks. Here it goes. There's a nice curve. Surely. Nice head. Just didn't get over it. Definitely placed it very well. Yeah, look at right that. in the middle of all of the action going on. And so that, I mean, pinpoint corner kicks by LA. Shocked. And if I'm shocked, you know, I don't know, let's say 50%, I'm trying to be nice, of everyone out there would be like, eyes would be bugging out. Like, oh my goodness. So some, ma uh, some amazing football going on. In, in, in the Nisa sort of universe. And uh, I'm just glad everyone's tuning in, by the way. So, but tune in after. Uh, watch those highlights after this match because it's, it's a long way to go. And here's acres of space for LA Force. Gets closed down to the right. There's that cross we're looking for, but stepped in by Kazakh, who just stops any sort of play. And we're going to get a throw in for the LA Force. To go back to... Uh Simon talking about him being shocked. Folks, you know Simon's shocked is when he is lost for words, when he can't say <laughs> anything. I've seen him try to call some goals, and he's just lost for yeah, words. Because I'm, That's how you know it. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Right after Ivanovsky's uh, uh, corner kick, there it is. Oh. I just want to say that I'm a, I'm a fan of good football. And I'm just as happy watching it as I'm talking about it. So when there's that lull in, in you know, <laughs> it's because I'm just, I'm just as happy about it. I'm just as overjoyed as everyone out there in the worldwide spider web watching it. Um, that's it. That's what it comes down to. That's the joy of football for me and joy of football for a lot of people in the, around the world. That they're, you know, like, what happened? And it actually happened this week over here. Just we're on the same level as they are. We're just... We love this game, so there we go. Again, it's stop, I'm going to stop being sappy for a second and get back to the action. It's been a good match already so far. So far this first yeah. half. Very rarely will you get two goals. Oh, yeah, back to Chattanooga. Take the shot, surely. Oh, just punched away by Gomez, and that was curving in, folks. But you saw how quickly that the, the tides changed. It was LA Force had, the, had possession. Chattanooga got it back. And then suddenly, there's an open space and it's a shot on goal. Quality the, shot. These are the kind of matches I like. I mean, it's just end-to-end. -end. Sorry, Alex. But this is matches where you don't know what's going to happen because it just so changes. The focus changes so much. And you can see why these teams are, are, are so liked in the league. And they, people like to watch it, you know, whether, it's on, whether it's live or whether it's on, on, on 11 Sports. Here we go. Back to action, folks. A little bit of movement here in the box. Look at that. Here we go. There's that floating cross. Not much danger. LA Force will just boot it out. Back into the box. Can it get to a shirt? No. Draws a foul. You were saying, Alex. I'm sorry. I, you said everything I wanted <laughs> to say already. Don't have to say a word. I was just well, listening to you like, well, I think Simon's got thank it. Thank you. Me. Thank you so much. He's already You're got too it. Kind. You're too kind. <laughs> 
But I is that, wanna, look at that. Look, look. Wow. Brilliance. Yeah. It, it, it has to go both ways. Mm -hmm. Kazakh with the brilliant shot, but then you also have to give the credit to Gomez. I'm oh, just absolutely. amazing goalkeeping. This yeah. is maybe one of the most underrated goalkeepers in the league. This is a guy that keeps the force in every match that they've been a part of. Have you ever seen them really blow, get blown out of mm. a match? I mean, the worst is they've fallen short just one by goal, one goal, yeah. By one goal, yeah. but other than that, that's it. I, I've never been one to like literally blame the referee anyway. Excuse me, the referee, the the goalkeeper anyway. It's, it's never, it's never solely his fault. I mean, there's, I can remember back times like when. Uh, I think it was like Taibi or something that was playing at Arsenal that, you know, or a Ray Clements back in the 70s where, they, you know, he, there was a fumble and he didn't. But it's never, it's usually, there's, it's a team effort when you, you know, when you give up a goal. So, yeah, um, a very underrated goalkeeper and one that a lot of, uh, you know, people should be talking about, you know. But the goalkeeping in, in Nisa has been fabulous, right? has been just top notch. And there's that slide tackle on a foul and, and the referee goes to his, and it's a yellow. And you know what? That's there shouldn't really be any sort of issue with, with that particular yellow. Oh, definitely. Yes, McKinley. Definitely yeah. and, and when he was, McKinley, when he was sliding, he did raise his foot up a bit. So a bit dangerous. But the funny thing is I always say that the, the players that I've seen at Nisa, they don't need to play like that. They've got, they got so much skill. They can make those clean tackles. But, again... Bit of rush of blood, and you know, you got yourself a yellow. Now you got to play cautiously for the rest of the match. Nice cross. Doesn't quite reach his mark, and there's a quick counter for Chattanooga. This is just, just sees a very optimistic, sees the goalkeeper off his line, and tries to do something with that, but doesn't quite get enough height on it. We know what he was thinking. Here's Padilla again. He, he started this and he just chose to go backwards rather than forwards, which is smart. You know, let Chattanooga chase the defenders, and they're not doing it. They're not. They're not being tricked into go forward to create space so they can so LA can move. They're like, okay, we'll wait. So it's a, a bit of a cat and mouse game. We saw that in the first ten minutes of the match. Okay, has this match slowed down? Well, there's thirty seconds left. I don't blame them, right? There's a cross. A little bit. Might have gone through the American goalpost. <laughs> might, might, might have. Might have been a seven. Is that a seven or a three? Number a seven. Seven. I don't know. I don't. I'm just asking. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought that you know, you know, if uh, every goal in soccer was seven and there were score lines like twenty-one to seven, it would be like whoa, amazing. <laughs> but we don't do that. Oh, here we go. Referee's going to, I'm thinking what, what are you guessing, about a minute and a half, two minutes? I say two minutes, so two minutes. stoppage time. Two minutes, but look at this, trying to penetrate the box, quick cross in there. Surely, oh, surely that would have been a goal. Just, player just hurled his body into it. It's a wide open goal. And that was, is that Hofstadter who's injured right now? That's, that would be a shame if he can't get away from that. But look. No marking whatsoever. It is Hofstadter. That would be, I, hope, I sincerely hope he gets up. Uh, he hit the goalpost enough that it moved. Looks like he's okay. But he was unmarked. He got away from his mark. Half a goal was open, and he just couldn't quite keep the ball down. That would have been a major shock going into, the, into, the, into halftime, into the, into the dressing room. Right now, no one's really going to do anything other than just kick that ball and just get into the locker room, have some orange slices, a cup of tea, and listen to the gaffer and see what he has to say. You've got 15 minutes to figure yeah. out the game plan. Hey, both of these teams are going to be, be talking about the same thing. How do we collect the lead? Right. How will Chattanooga collect their first uh, lead of the match? Why don't we ask Twitter, the Twitter world, what they would do if they were the manager? What would they say to their teams and see what... That's a great question. Why don't we just do that? Very great. Get some, Very get great some, question. yeah, get some uh, tweets on that. What would you do if you were the manager right now in halftime? What would you say? I know what I would say, but I'll leave it up to the, the Twitterverse. Ball rolls out of play, out of touch, and here we go. Referee's looking at his watch. Surely he's going to call time on this one. LA Four is just keeping control. Look at that. Oh, very nicely done.
And there it is, folks. Referee calls the first half, and at the end of the first half... Get that go-ahead goal, first of all, for right. both of these teams. Both of these teams need a win. If you're Chattanooga, you have fallen in the last two matches, and you have fallen against the force already. So I think if you're Chattanooga, you're definitely going to try to intensify this match a little bit more, try to play and keep up with the force as they play more of a speedy tempo. Yep. But Chattanooga, you have to sustain the damage that the force can really do. They have so many weapons on this team, and the player we haven't even mentioned at all is Christian Cheney. How did right. we? He has not been mentioned at all, and right. this guy is super deadly. Well, right now, um, about 39 seconds into it, the first 35 seconds, it was just a game of tennis, one from one side of the pitch to the next. And um, you heard the coach say, "Calm down," or you know, "Calm down." Got to take control of it, which is what essentially is happening right now. So, 53 seconds now. Both teams now understand that they just can't be booting it up the field like they were just 20 seconds ago. And both teams right now are trying to essentially get some sort of a domination when it comes to controlling of that ball. Movement right now for Chattanooga. He's going straight back to their goalkeeper. Nelson has it. And he's going to try that long, long 70-star ball into the midfield. Ivan obviously heads it back. And again, it's another... I mean, it just feels like now they're just trying to keep the ball off the fake turf at this point, Alex. And it goes straight back. Straight back to Nelson, who gets it to his center back. Spielman has it. Spielman to his right. Switching of the field, but it goes into the midfield. Control right now for Chattanooga, going down the left-hand side of the pitch for them. Trying to penetrate the box. Final third, gets it in there. And a little bit of miscommunication, but better safe than sorry. Defenders kick it right out, and there's that losing the ball, and it's back in the box for Chattanooga. Surely, there's a little of a missed kick over there. Ivanovsky just boots it out, tries to get it somewhere, and try to get a control, and listen, Chattanooga FC have the throw in. Alex, what's going on? 15 seconds of, what was it? What was that? Very quick action <laughs> by Chattanooga. They're acting very quick here in this second half, yeah. and... Maybe it was a mishap. Maybe it wasn't. Trying to see if he can get an open man over on that right yeah. side of the 18-yard box. See if they'd be able to just boot it in and yeah. try to get it 2-1. to one, But McKinley had that throw in, and now there's a lot of movement inside the box. There's a, oh, uh, a very... I will say that's a cynical foul, but it was a, a foul that to so essentially stop the danger where it exactly was, which is right on top of the box right there. Look, yep. Yeah. Didn't even have the eye on the ball, but understandable. You want to stop it. But here is a dangerous place to give up that ball. Kasich's looking over it right now. There's going to be at least, what, four players going into the into the wall right now. Um, I don't, you know, let's be honest. Gomez has, has got to make sure his, his, his wall is doing exactly what he's instructing them to do. Referee's telling the Chattanooga FC players, like, just wait for my whistle. That was not a very good foul then. That was not a very good move by Alex because all. this is dangerous. So let's see what happens. Again, not as close as I thought it was, but you know, still quite dangerous. Four man wall. Very dangerous yeah. set piece right there. It's not the smartest of fouls for the force. It could be very dangerous. There's that kick going into the goal. Fabulous save. It was bending down and goalkeeper just did a great job. Had his eye on the ball, saw it sort of come down a little bit, watched it come down, and then just parried it away. Look at this. Look at that. Well done. Palms it away. Great stuff by LA Force. Out of danger for now, but Chattanooga FC do get a corner kick. Not quite out of the woods just yet. It was Not. a brilliant set piece there for Chattanooga, but this corner kick could also be very dangerous for a Chattanooga. I, I, I will agree with you. Look at the amount of movement right now. Look at the players. Look, there's four players right in front of the goalkeeper just trying to move. And here you go. There it is. Oh. Got to be honest with you. I thought that was going in. And uh, for whatever it's worth, let's take a look at it again. Look at great, great stuff. Again. Hofstad, he has been very busy already trying to yeah. get to work here in the second half. He got down low, twisted his neck around, just moved his torso, so he got to the, to the got 
essentially facing the, the net himself. Here you go. There's another one. Easy bounce. And just over the bar. That corner kick, I, I really, for, for Hofstadter, was, I mean, it was, he did much better than the actual taker of the corner. He, what he had to do to twist his body to do that was great, but kudos to everyone else who was defending at this point. Well, it looks like the second half started just as, a, you know, just a little bit more exciting than the, than the first half ended, Alex. Chattanooga, they're coming in <laughs> firing. They're hungry to get this go-ahead goal, but props to Tate Robertson on that header trying to just get it right over the fingertips of Gomez, but it's going to take a lot more than that to get anything past Gomez. If you do get something by him, that's a brilliant job on your behalf. Well, let's see what happens now. Um, two fouls in like two minutes, and i got to tell you, that's – that's kind of a new thing for me. Maybe one of the, one of the coaches was like, "Listen, you got to get stuck in a little bit more. Get those tackles going." You know. With that said, it's clean tackles that we really like, not the ones that you're going to cause a or result in a in a, in a free kick. Chattanooga looking over the ball right now. A little bit of movement on top of the box, right? Going to have to be a long one. There it is. Oh, very well defended by LA Force. Just pat it gets sort of ricocheted away, but. Chattanooga has the ball, gets it into the mix, has to head it out, obviously, because there's at least three shirts there that could do a little bit of damage. Chattanooga very happy to see that ball roll out of, you know, out of touch and so for a throw-in. And that throw-in, I want to say, is close enough to be one of the long ones that we can expect. I am really liking right now how Chattanooga is attacking right now. They are maintaining control of the ball right now on their on the LA Four side of the pitch. They are just staying persistent and staying determined on here. There's that long throw in. Couldn't quite get the movement of the head to essentially face the goalkeeper. It gets essentially kicked out of touch. And rather than going forward, they choose to go back to just a little bit of safety, a little bit of a breather. Back to the goalie. And here we go. Now you see, again, look, the players aren't playing as high up the pitch as, as you would like because you sort of, oh, here we go, a little bit of a misbounce. And another foul, but no, no referee saw it and said, no, thank you. Nice sort of uh, floating, surely a goal. Wow, what a save. Not out of danger yet. Okay. Kudos. <laughs> Kudos. This was just a floating cross into that header. No one closes down the Chattanooga FC player. He has a straight head into the goal. Goalkeeper does a great job. Someone was falling asleep for a few seconds over there. I'm not going to be critical about it, but danger was diverted a little bit. Brandon Gomez just continues to be an amazing goalkeeper here in the league. And this is exactly why we say he is very underrated. And this is a guy that should definitely be talked about more. Just coming in with a big-time save right there. There's a very bad giveaway right now. Chattanooga FC is trying to get past one, two, three defenders. And there's a goal right there. Wow. Just looks up for a split second. You can see the replay right now. Looks up for a split second. Look, there it is. And boom. Done. Wow. Wow. It's been on this side of the pitch for the past five minutes. And maybe it's a sort of a blitzkrieg kind of uh, sort of play for Chattanooga FC. Like go out there and just barrage them with something. Make something happen and test that goalkeeper. So whatever was said in, at halftime, it looks like it's like, no, you can't rest on your laurels. Go out there and... Make something happen. Make that goalkeeper work for his, uh, for his pay. And right now he has been working, and I think he, they should pay him just a little extra because of what he has been well, doing tonight. Just saying. I think some of his, some of his teammates should at least, you know, buy, buy a mistake beverage. or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't beverage, yeah. Gatorade. Gatorade. Whatever. No, whatever. Just buy him something. You know, a cup of tea. A cup of tea is always good, too. Orange slice. And here we go. Back to action, folks. We're having a good time here. The only thing that's really missing is you. So the next match is coming up. We want to see everyone out there in the worldwide spider web to make that trek down to wherever your local franchise 
and support your local team. We have some great football today around the world. And what I've been saying for very many years is that you can watch globally, but you should support locally. So come on out here. And believe me, if you want to come and say hi to me, I'm, I'm up for it. I, I, I want to meet new people. I, you know, whenever the away fans come to Los Angeles, I'm so happy to see them. I'm always happy to see folks from Detroit or Tennessee or whenever they come to town. I'm really happy. So come on by. Say hi. More importantly, here we go. Nice cross into the box. Oh, very well handled. Very well done by the defensive of LA Force. But I was saying, come on by and support your local football team. This is it's amazing stuff. You know, if I'm excited about it, when I, when I talk about it, I know you're going to be just as excited watching it live. There's nothing better than seeing it live. I mean, no. it doesn't do justice. I if mean, you, we can I, only do the we can only do our best, folks. We listen, if you if best. you can't see it live, then the second best thing is to watch it on a TV Emax family broadcast on Eleven Sports, right? So, but again, we want to see you in the stadium. So come on by. Here we go. Back to action. LA Force now on the opposite side of the pitch, trying to sort of regain control of the, the second half. A little bit of movement here and there, but look how static right now Ch Ch Chattanooga FC are. They're willing to let them, let LA Force come to them. And look, here we go. Good pass to the right-hand side of the pitch. Controlled very well. Good pass. There's Ivanovsky with the ball, trying to get the through ball in. Lucky break for LA Force. Gets it into the box. Referee calls an offside but that was good movement a good three or four good passes and good penetration of the box Alex something we need to see more often bit of a different type of cross there for the force <laughs> and of course no one better to give it to than to Diego Barrera this guy really has been the recipe for success the answer for the force I mean he has two goals against Chattanooga FC so why not keep giving him the ball inside of the 18 yard box and allow him to get to work Fantastic. Got two substitutions. We'll wait to see what the uh, what the assistant referee puts up as a numbers. But so it's Diego Casillas, a midfield player, and Abraham Vion, another midfield player, coming onto the pitch yep. now. Kashani just kicking the ball away, just sort of like that. I think might have got a good talking to by the by the gaffer, like, hey, you got to, you know, giving that ball away and sort of giving the ball back to the opposition might not be good, especially on that side of the pitch. But sometimes you just have to do that. So folks out there who are defenders, kids out there, defenders, that's something you might have to do once in a while. But look at this long throw in for Chattanooga FC, going straight to the head of the ball of the, of its of a teammate. And look, Ivan Nasi just kicks it right out again. Can they retain control? Referee's getting a little bit of an, an argument. I can see it. Cheney's like, listen, he, he, he tugged my shirt, but referee was right there. Look at that. Sort of a side heel, side kick to his teammate and takes the shot off goal. But look, still action. LA Force has to be careful. Look at that slide tackle. Well done. Gets the ball past one, then two players. Acres of space. No one's attacking. No one's trying to get hit the ball back. He passes it, and surely that's a foul. And the referee has to call that. That's the second infringement right now, right? Everyone's in the stadium is screaming, "That's a card, ref!" And I and I get it. And I get it. That's could very well be a look. But what? I think it's a lot more dangerous than what we saw. Look, this wasn't an entanglement of legs, in my opinion. It's just you know the guy went in and he forcibly took out one of the legs. Very lucky if you didn't get a card. So, okay, I get it. Um, for whatever it's worth, it's, it could very much anger that player more. So we're going to have to watch that m midfield battle. But Sean Russell Jr. getting a huge sigh of relief right there. <laughs> yeah. Almost thinking he was going to get that yellow. Yeah. Well, it just it just was a bit too... He didn't have really that... An eye, well, maybe he did have one eye on the ball and one eye on the, on the, on the player. I get it. Um, you can't fault the guy for trying. Padilla, Padilla now has actually uh, been fouled. So, yeah, get stuck in. I like it. You know, I like it. Get stuck in. But make those clean tackles. You know, I always thought, 
you know, you're a lot more, a lot bigger a hero if you got a clean tackle than you were. You'd be more of a villain if you didn't. So here we go. Oh, kick back to his teammate rather than going forward. Long cross into the area. Haphazardly headed away. Can he save it? No. It becomes a throw in for Chattanooga FC. No. Pardon me. Throw in for LA Force. Waiting for Ivanovsky with his long throw ins. A few steps out onto the track. Wonder if he can do one of those sort of front flips and then do it. And that would be sweet. be sweet. But, you know. Here we go. Long throw in. Back into the midfield. LA have control. Some very decent. There's that shot we're looking for. It goes very high. But again, good, good, intelligent choice there. There was three Chattanooga FC players that could have very well got in front of him. Look, one, two, three. But he chooses to take the shot. Now, it did go high. But again, that was an intelligent choice. Um, the result wasn't there. But again, we saw a lot of movement on one side of the pitch. And now we're seeing it on the other. It's still 1-1. One, one. LA Force 1. Chattanooga FC 1 here in Santa Ana, California. It's just the the experience that Diego Barrera has and what he brings with the LA Force, with his collegiate level experience, with his overseas experience over in Asia, and just mm -hmm. what he brings to the table for the Force is just brilliant. And he, I got an opportunity to speak with Diego, and he's just very happy to be back here in the United States playing for Nisa and just the talent, what he's able to bring, the soccer IQ as well, the knowledge of the game really does make a difference for his colleagues. Uh, he, he, let's go back to the action for a second. Yeah, I mean, this player right here, you know, he's well-traveled. Philippines, Thailand, playing in the leagues around the world, understands, you know, different kinds of players, different formations, different kinds of way to play the game. And here in the United States at Nisa, he's really found a great home. You know, and he... And his knowledge and his experience is, is absolutely well respected uh, you know, in, in the league. So, yeah, we do want to see more of him. We want to see less of him on the ground being, being fouled, obviously. But, yeah, amazing stuff. And you know, another, person that I another player that I want to see is, is Vion. You know, he's a very well-versed, very good player. It's, gonna, it's also a game changer. So I want to see how these two players now react and how the opposition reacts to them. So, again, we've got plenty of time. Maybe about 30 minutes. So we'll see what happens. It's been a pretty interesting second half. It was a quick start for Chattanooga, but still just they can't seem to solve the riddle of how to get the ball past the goalkeeper, Brandon Gomez, yeah. who is just doing a phenomenal yeah. job. Yeah, That's, Almost running out of synonyms the, right now. Yeah, the final I, – I just used one. <laughs> <laughs> um, nice. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> My old, my old professor would, would probably be like, like what is, we, I taught you more than that. And I'm like, don't use the word nice. Okay. That's been nice. Um, <laughs> for whatever it's worth. So Ivanovsky is going to go ahead and, and take the corner kick. We're going to have to watch for that curl and see which player actually makes a strong vertical leap to get that ball down onto the ground. Not much movement right now inside the box and here we go there's that movement we're looking for is that Barrera look at that I'm trying to see what the defenders are doing for for LA Force and it looks like they're doing a, an adequate job marking for whatever the whatever the trouble is they're gonna, they're gonna have to mark again they're gonna have to defend again because it's a corner kick um, oh look at that Ivan is just a fantastic a set play kind of player. I mean, he just knows exactly how to make that ball do whatever he wants. Watching him and then watching how his players, you know, in the box or wherever, how they react, and then how the defenders that are defending them, how they react. It's just great. It's just good football. It's fun to watch if you're a novice or if you're an expert because you want to see what's, what's behind 
you know, each play. And, and these are sort of sort of American style plays. You know, these set plays are kind of like American football. They, they they practice it over and over again, so you can see sort of the routine that they have. But again, look at what's going on right now on the other side of the pitch. A turnover. Again, you were talking about Ivanovsky. Yeah. This is a guy that offers a lot of tools on the pitch. 100%. He, he can be a scorer. Yep. He's a great guy. He's been on point with his throw-in. The corner kicks have been phenomenal mm-hmm. tonight. He yeah. has just been put him in, in the perfect spots yeah. in the 18-yard box, and it's just missing that final blow to yeah. be able to get the goal, the goals that LA Force need. Yeah. So it's a nice piece to have when you have a guy that could do a variety of well, things and when he can move positions as well. Alex, we'll just go back to those corner kicks. How many times have you seen in a, in a game in, a, in, in different leagues where the corner kick doesn't get past the first defender? We haven't seen that today. We've seen a, a, a solid player like Ivanovsky to essentially make those pinpoint corner kicks. That isn't, you know, that is, that, that's a player making it look easy for us. It's not, it's not that easy because you know, we've seen it in higher leagues where the guy can't even get it past the first man. You know, so kudos to this player. You know, got a great skill, something that you know, he wasn't born with it. He goes to practice every day and does it. So something for the kids out there to sort of look at and go, if this, this, this player can do it, what, what does he do? Well, he goes to practice. He stays after practice. He comes before practice. He does this over and over again. And you can do it too. You know? I wanted to also mention how... Here we go. Just how important this league is for, for, to, to inspire these young American players. How really important it is. And I, something that I sort of uh, tell a lot of people I talk to on, on my podcast and everywhere else, that, this, that Nisa is producing these young players that can amount to anything that they, they set their mind to. A player that comes to mind is Matthew Hoppy, who you know is on the U.S. national team. That he started on the lower leagues, you know, here in these on these fields, you know, on in this league. So the sky's the limit. And so when you watch these players, it's like you almost can see like what player is going to go and how far he's going to go. It's amazing. It's, it's almost a um, like you almost can, almost can tell, you know, that oh, this player is can, has got so much potential. Who knows where he could be two or three years from now? Um, anyway, that's me. <laughs> Wanted to mention the U.S. national team player that started off where these players are right now and how important this league is. And quite frankly, if you're not a soccer fan, it's just nice to see that someone accomplished their goals from really starting from the bottom. And yeah. yes, you can reference the Drake song, started from the bottom, yeah. now we're here. Because that's exactly yeah. what Hoppy did in his <laughs> career. So just to start off with these lower level leagues yeah. and to work his way through. And it's a grind. It's an yeah. absolute grind to yeah. be able to progress to the next level up. And this is what every player on the pitch is trying to do. They yeah. want to move up to the next level to the USL to playing MLS or maybe overseas or, or there's well, so many we've seen it Alex right? we've seen it in every, every game that we broadcast just some amazing football Hi- we say highlight reel like it's just, a, just a, just a regular thing but literally highlight reel stuff that you don't see in other leagues even on, the, on you know in, in the top leagues in the world like this stuff is fantastic you know and, and it's in your backyard which is the best thing about it like, you can come and I think the last broadcast we did you know, after the match, we went. We went, actually went and uh, walked around a bit, and these players were accessible. We were talking to these players. They were talking to the fans. They were talking to the kids who were being inspired by them. That's amazing. You don't get that everywhere, you know. So, Nisa football is brilliant. Nisa, the, the whole organization is fantastic. It's doing a fantastic job, inspiring, and uh, inspiring the youth, and actually doing something about it. So, here we go. In the box, keyed up. There it is was literally teed up for the player. Fantastic defending by the LA Force. And I'm going to get off my soapbox right now because I just can't gush how the good things about this league. You know, I just, I'm a, every time I get a chance, I talk about it to anyone who wants to hear it. It's a foul, and this is a, this is a yellow card, no doubt about it. Today we were, we were, we were watching some amazing football around the world. And every time someone talked about it, I always reverted back to Nisa football. Nisa this. I was like, no, 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 this is really good. You've got to watch this. So fantastic stuff so far. And this game is no exception. It's brilliant. There's a lot of chess being played. It's been tough in some areas. It's been back and forth. There's been a lot of turnovers. It has everything for everyone at this point. So let's go back to this. We're on the 70th minute, 20 minutes to go. 
Goalkeeper has it. Got the ball off right before it got closed down. LA Force with the with the ball. A little bit of space. Chooses to run into it. Sets up his player. Surely a cross. There it is. And there's that. And there's the, just an inherent pass. And it goes into the back of the net. A little bit of miscommunication in the back. And the LA Force are up 2-1. Look at this, Alex. Ball gets played into the box. Wow. Talk about just hard work and just grinding out a goal. Amazing. I'm that's amazing. Christian Cheney <laughs> coming in. Instead of being the normal scorer yeah. for the force, he ends up I mean, passing it up who is very much strong with the force yeah. right now. <laughs> Almost like a Luke Skywalker oh, right word. now. Yes. It was Diego Barrera coming in with goal number three yeah. against Chattanooga FC this year. Two tonight already. He's doing all the work here already and just has been fabulous tonight. Listen, he, this, the, just did not give up. Didn't fall down on the ground and say, well, you know, I did my thing. Kept going. An extra move here. A twist of the, of the body here. The goal was behind him. He twists his foot one way and just gets gets past the, the goalkeeper that's inspirational if you're a poaching forward if you're a goal scorer and you're 15 years old you're in high school this is the kind of player that you have to look up to never say die just I need to score a goal and he made it happen and you know what? We have seen our fair share of these players sacrificing their bodies just to be able to come up with a score. I'm still going to use that example of Sean Hofstadter earlier that slid and ended up colliding with the goalpost. Yep. So I, that's something that's always going to stick um, to you, sacrificing your body. Oh, are we gonna, it, here's, you get here it is. here's that replay once again. Look. Nice. And there you go. Just look. I'm... I'm this is a quintessential goal scorer right there. Just won't give up until he gets a, a shot on goal, and there you have it. Amazing. I, I mean, sometimes you gotta put a, you gotta put a full full stop after what I just said. I mean, just like boom, that's it. That's that is something that I think a lot of people out there, a lot of players out there, a lot of kids out there in high school and college look at and go, that's pure determination. It's pure grit. Oh, that's a foul right there. Okay, every match we've done, Alex, I've, I've literally been so um, just excited about these goals. They're just great goals. They, sometimes they come out of nowhere. Sometimes they, they, these plays are amazing. Sometimes it's just like this where, you know, you didn't expect it. It happens, and L.A. force a 2-1 uh, up against Chattanooga FC. And I don't think I can even say assuredly that it's going to remain this way for them, you know. <laughs> I think Chattanooga FC might have, if I'm pretty sure they should have, a few shots at goal between now and the end of the, the game. Well, with the way this match has been going, I wouldn't doubt if we see a couple more shots on goals, especially for <laughs> Chattanooga FC. They have been knocking on the door. Here they go. Sorry, Alex. Yeah, that was a great cross into the into the box, punched away by the goalkeeper. Control right now with LAFC. They just LA force they give it away Chattanooga FC have the ball pardon me and it's just kicked into space LA force will be happy just to roll that out and give it back to the goalkeeper so he can kick it straight back into Chattanooga FC's third of the pitch which is a good transition for me now to be able to Chattanooga they're still knocking on the door they're still <laughs> looking for it but if you're the force now you want to say hey Let's hang on to this one goal lead. Remember, but we do were you want to say that, Alex? Do you want to say that? Because this is not a team. Chattanooga FC is not a team that's going to be like, you know, content with merely just scoring a, a, an equalizer. They want to get that win and go home. Here we go. There's that. They, they, you might, if, for example, you might now bring on a defender, and then what? If Chattanooga FC scores, then what? You play for the draw. So I get what you're saying, but. 
Stay tuned, folks. I really think this is... When I said it wasn't over 20 minutes ago, it really isn't over. We got a goal. Now <laughs> it's... Anything can happen, yeah. as we've seen. I just like the fact that we're watching the game. We're talking about it. It's so exciting. It's changing every few seconds. We're talking about, no, no, this can't be right. He's got to do this. He's got to do this. And then 10 seconds later, we're doing something else that's completely opposite. It's just that good of good football that's happening right now as we speak. And kudos to both the managers, both the, the coaches on this one. I'm, I know they're barking orders and, and, the, and the team's listening. They're changing it up every 15, 20 seconds at this point. It's beautiful. And here we go. 15 minutes to go, Alex. A lot of time left. <laughs> a lot of time. And we still don't know how much stoppage time is, but mm -hmm. as of now, we're not going to get a lot of it. Yeah. No, I think 15 minutes, you know, a couple Sounds of fouls right. here and there. Okay, fine. Oh, there's a foul on one side. Yep. Chattanooga FC. Oh. All right. Okay, guys. Take it easy. All right. Cheney's looking for some trouble. And Spielman's like, well, you know, I got the ball. Quick, quick. And while they're arguing with the referee, Chattanooga FC starts. Quick shot, quick goal, I should say. Quick attempt at goal. Have to expect a guy <laughs> like Chris Cheney to defend for his team. Yeah. And that's the type of player you like to have on your team as well. He's yeah. going to stand up for his players, and that's... That's sometimes what you like. To Listen, see. he's a, he's a fan favorite for sure. He's a fan favorite for sure, right? You gotta worry. You gotta be careful about those quick starts. Obviously, while you're arguing with someone, they're gonna quickly start. They're on the other side of the pitch. There's an attempt on goal while you're still arguing with the referee. You know, is that Ivanovsky? Is, is that is he is he arguing with the referee right now? I mean, so this is the kind of stuff we gotta go. We gotta, we gotta throw in coming in. Oh. Substitution made by your LA Force. Next to the match, number 11, Christian Ivanovsky. So I was coming off. So now what are we going to do about those, those uh, throw-ins and those corner kicks? We'll have to find out. But ball gets booted away. Chattanooga FC now have acres of space. They're going to go ahead and use the ball rather than their legs. And there's that long kick into the area. Nice little back heel. Certainly control back on Chattanooga FC gets it back into the box a little bit of defending over here doesn't want to draw the foul gets booted away but straight to Chattanooga FC you're looking to get that ball straight back into the box but it's one on one right now goes into a little bit of traffic gets past his mark gets cross fantastic defending by LF excuse me LA force Chattanooga FC Penetrating, insisting, trying to get something done. LA Force, amazing right now. Defending very, very well. Kasich over the ball. Now we know who's going to take those, those corner kicks. Here we go. And there's that. The movement back into the box. LA Force, very well done over there. Kicks the ball away, straight to a player. Into space. Now, can it be one on Fantastic. Very well. Can they chase the ball? And LAF Force is struggling to get past the last defender. Chattanooga FC, very well done over there. But again, LA Force have control. There's moments of calmness for LA Force, and then they give it away like that. And as you said it previously in the broadcast, Things can really change it as quick as a blink of an eye. Yep. You think you're in control of the match, but you make one mistake, yeah. and the other team, they're rushing up the pitch. You saw that, right? they yeah. can definitely come in, and the force will look to put a gap on what? you. And if you're Chattanooga, you've really got a problem Listen, now. It, it, was, it was two players shoulder to shoulder. There was a little bit of a nudge, and you thought, oh, the, the, the ball's going to stop, but... One kept going, kept going, and then finally a Chattanooga FC player comes from the right or to the left, comes in and just takes the ball away. But that could have been a one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. Who knows what could happen after that? So here we go. A gigantic kick straight to the goalkeeper. He doesn't have time to waste. Goes to his center back. 
Left side of the pitch. A little bit of movement here. Ball's doing a lot of the moving, but it's not going anywhere. It's in space. Goalkeeper's going to go ahead and take care of that. Going to use as much time as possible. There you go. He has it. Going to use his, as many seconds as he can. There you go. <laughs> Get that clock to go down a little bit. Good boot. Again, we're going to bypass the midfield. Go straight to an L.A. Force player. Dodges traffic. Takes the shot. Just a little bit wide. Goalkeeper had it covered, Alex. Very well done. First shot on goal there for Chaney. We haven't mentioned his name a whole yeah. lot, but he's trying to get into this one. Would love to get into the books. And yeah. His way is very lethal, very dangerous, and that's a guy that you always got to have your sights on. Yeah, we've got 10 minutes left in the match. LA Force, we'll, uh, let's see what they do. Do they now start just passing the ball around, switching from side to side, making Chattanooga FC chase it, expend a lot of energy? Number 28, Damian Rodriguez. Good movement so far. Damian Rodriguez that came on. He's from the Georgia Academy, straight from one of these, what we were talking about earlier, Alex, about getting these players young, training them, the Georgia Academy. There's a few of the players on the pitch that are, or excuse me, on the team that are from that particular academy. They do so well getting it from the academy to the first team. And here we go, we have an opportunity to see one of those players. It's nice to see a young blood, as yes. what a lot of people like to say, yeah. developing, developing them and molding them to be an amazing footballer yeah. and really trying to teach them the real ways of how to go make it to the pros, yeah. make it. and. It, create these goals yeah. for these players and we, we saw this this week how injecting a young player into a game you get a goal and that was what I'm talking about Pepe from the US national team a young player that coming from an academy playing you know and then you bring him onto the US national team and see what he does he absolutely changes it yellow card Chattanooga FC so let's see some of these academy players out there see what kind of a difference they can make this is what the league is also about you know this is amazing stuff we want to see we want to see our future heroes playing right now already three yellow cards here for Chattanooga well they had to stop that they had to stop that run of play at, at this point you know they they don't want to be on the back heel on these kind of plays. They want to make sure that at least they can stop it. I totally get it. We have about seven minutes left in regular time. So even just having a player down, you're giving your, your, your opposition some time to rest, grab some water, get instructions, you know, grab an orange slice maybe. I love those orange slices. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you know? Couldn't tell. Yeah, yeah. Um, so look, you know, you've got the physio on now. Now it's like, so what, you've got a little bit of time to rest. You've got a little time to recoup. But now the opposition's like, wait a second. You know, we've got a, you know, we've got a set play that we can work on or we can use that we've been working on. Um, you know, so is that really your advantage? So, yeah, we'll see what happens. You can see, is, I'm sure we're going to see the, the foul right over there. Oh, no, this is, the, uh, this is the cross. Look at that. Wow. Just look at the reaction from the player, just how happy he was to score that goal. It's like he just, look at this one. Wow. Just pure, just determination right there. That last goal from Cheney, it was just that soft little tap. To, yeah. that, it was just enough to slowly <laughs> exactly. roll in. Who knows if he had, had sort of flicked his, you know, the leg up a bit, it would have, might have just gone all the way up. Overcooked. You know? Yeah. Just so, slightly overcooked for yeah. our liking. I'm trying, to, trying to see, I'm trying to hear from up here what some of the players are saying. Which is, it's very difficult for me, but it just feels like they're saying, let's, let's slow it down a little bit, but I could be wrong. Right, 
nice chest down. He's got complete control. He can goes past one mark, chooses to go to his right. It's one on three. Goes back. It's not a look at that. It wasn't offside. The defenders were looking for an offside. There was one, two, three, four defenders for Chan UFC were saying we were looking at the assistant referee. But again, look at the determination of, of of LA Force. Penetrating, trying to go back, trying to make something happen. Well done. Okay, we've got move on the right side of the pitch. Chattanooga's looking to get past his mark. Nice cross, but it doesn't actually happen because the defense is doing very, very well for LA Force. For the effort, though, this kid does get himself a corner kick. So well done with a little injection of, of, uh, uh, of young blood into the, into the game. Fantastic. You have to love the young energy that the younger generation yeah. brings onto the pitch as well. It's just more energy when you compare it to a bit of the older. Yeah, don't remind me. Don't veterans. remind me of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. There's something to be said about being a veteran, but there's something to be said to be about about you know having just a gas tank full of you know fuel. And here's a great cross into the box. Just didn't quite happen, but in control. There it is. There's that. <laughs> and Simon's reaction <laughs> says it all, folks. A few seconds ago, I was, comment I, was, I, was, I was complimenting the defenders how well they were doing. Split second goes by. There's a, quite a, a, a decent cross into the box, and the LA Force just don't mark their players. He gets a personal, a, a very good vert up there, twists, twists the body, and there's a there's an attempt on goal, and the goalkeeper luckily just sees it go wide. And on this side of the pitch, Chattanooga FC just gives it away, and there's a shot on goal. Seriously, no, it's a foul. Yes, it's a foul. It's a foul. Referee's calling for the spot. Calling, says no. Everyone's arguing no, but Hernandez is saying yes. It was. We saw it. he didn't have his eye on the ball. And for the efforts, the goalkeeper gets himself a yellow as well. Let's take a look at this once again. Just trying to get through the one marker, tries to get through the goalkeeper, the goalkeeper there, and just couldn't find the light of yeah, day to yeah. just pull the trigger. There were so many opportunities for each team to make a foul on the other one. At the beginning of the play it could have been a foul on either one of those players if one of them stepped to the left or to the right. Goalkeeper was unfortunate, just came out a little bit, maybe. I don't know, I wouldn't say too early, but maybe just made that reaction just a bit too, I don't know, not quite the goalkeeper that we know. Now it's a penalty kick. Goal, easy goal. Well done, well done, LA Force. Goalkeeper goes one way, LA Force essentially says, well, we know exactly what to do. Well done. 3-1 to the LA Force against Chattanooga FC with less than two minutes to go in regular time. The crowd is going really wild right over now. Look, just cool as you like. Easy as, well, he just made it look great and easy. But, you know, ice going through the veins of this player. Unfortunate for the goalkeeper. But a fantastic match for the neutral. 3-1, LA Force. You want to talk about a huge mistake of the match? <laughs> that's it, folks. That's I do want to talk one. about it. That I do. Is, that's the, the dagger, folks. <laughs> that's the big yellow card that ends up stabbing Chattanooga straight to the heart. Ends up being the goalkeeper, Nelson, committing the foul, getting the yellow card in the 18-yard box. You guys know what that means. It's a PK. Diego Garcias comes in, and you know what? Big-time goal. Big-time goal yeah. for the force. And and absolutely, just look at, the, look at the, the amount of confidence they have right now in the final few seconds of, of this particular match. They want to penetrate. They want to go into that box. They want to do something. Look. He, Look, he wants to get past his mark. Now it's two on one, and he's still not giving up. Quite easily could have ran straight to the corner flag and went, we're, we're okay. And what a fantastic result for LA Force in that table, right? We were talking about how they need to win just to make sure that they keep up with the number one spot. Here you have it, folks. 
You know, the urgency was there. Look, they're still not giving up. They still want to go ahead and get into the box. The urgency was there. They, they were, if there were any doubters, they put those doubts to rest. I, I mean, what an exciting match. What an exciting match. For me as a neutral, it's been really just one of the better matches I've seen today. And we're talking about just multiple matches around the world. I know. You can email me. You can tweet me. <laughs> of course, there's other matches still going on as well. And Chattanooga falling here. It's, yeah, it's it could bring them down the standings yeah. as New Amsterdam. They're maintaining that fourth spot in the table. Yeah. So it's New Amsterdam trying to create a name for themselves on yeah. the Eastern Conference. And it's uh, very interesting. I, I'm, I'm really enjoying now that... The the LA Force, it doesn't look like they're slowing down even in the final seconds of this match. You know, it almost feels like they want to get that fourth goal. I know it's crazy to think about that. Anyone in their right mind would just say, let's just take it to the corner flag. But no, they're not. They're still insisting. They're still going through. Like They're not really Keeping trying to... Keeping the intensity yeah. up. And it's, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a testament to the, to the culture of, of LA Force. You know, They want to play exciting, you know, beautiful football. And, and they're certainly doing it today. In other words, no mercy, really. <laughs> well, you know. Wanted to. Look, they're still just as happy trying to get forward as they are trying to keep the ball, maintain you know, possession. Look, they're going for it now. Again, going back. I understand. Look, control. Well done. Look at that. Oh, can we just start yelling, Ole, Ole? This is fantastic. Oh. All right. Referee's going to have to stop this and just have a, a word. Like, just tell them it's almost over, lads. Just relax. You know, you're probably going to do a lot better, as, you know, playing if you've got a clearer head than if you've got that sort of that anger that a lot of players get when they're down. But I get it. Look at that. We've got a player down over here. Referee's not. I'm not really seeing what the referee's seeing, but he's urging everyone to, to play on. I don't particularly like that, Alex, because if the player's down, if the referee knows something I don't know, then please correct me. But if the player's down, they need to t attend to that. Number one, these, you know, I think um, this week Jurgen Klopp said, you know, without the players, there's really there's no match. We've got to protect those players, so let's go. And you can see some of the force players yeah, even saying, very hey, angry. Hey, yeah. our player's down. Yeah. We're going to defend for our guys. Yeah, of course. Well, just just if he's injured, then of course you have to take care of that. It's, this is just a, it's one of those things. And he's still down. He's in the 40-yard line. Is that the 40-yard line? Yes. <laughs> okay. You got it. <laughs> Sorry. You got I mean, it. It says 40, but it's right between the 40 and the 50. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let's see 40 and the... Oh, that's, that's the 36. Okay. And we're done, folks. 